Do you ever wonder what happens when the police leave? Crime Scene Cleaners are private companies that handle the cleanup after the police are gone. Spalding Decon is one of the nation's largest cleanup companies handling the aftermath of homicides, suicides, decompositions, hoarding, and much more. These are our stories. We're in Bradenton, Florida on a horde mission today. So someone was living with her that uh, she didn't realize was a drug abuser. And he had like an episode one night and beat the crap out of her. She just stopped caring, so she just started to barricade herself in. You reading the paper? March 26, 2016. A dead bird in there and she said that uh, she thought that she was coming back frequently enough to feed the birds, but uh, apparently not. So the birds starved to death. Uh, today started out really shitty. 7 a.m., I get a call from Fiona and Thad that our uh, dump trailer's missing and the lock was cut on our uh, property. I went back and reviewed the cameras and bigger than shit, saw a guy in a black four-door pickup backing into our property and loading up our trailer. All right, hey guys, uh, we're back at our level five horde in Bradenton on day two. Mmm, tasty. 2018. Oh my god. That's crazy. Hey guys, uh, we're back at our level five horde in Bradenton on day two. Uh, yesterday, not all the living room, like I would say about three quarters of the living room filled a 30 yard dumpster. Today we're finishing off the living room. The client and her friend seems a lot more like with the program today, or at least so far. The day is still young. They're not going through as much stuff as they were yesterday. Yesterday they went through practically everything that we took out including everything that was bagged. They opened it up and was going through everything. Dad, you got anything? Do you want to add anything? Whatever, if you name me. Okay. Did you want to just be cute on camera? I know you like doing that. You want flags and see if you can bust your sleeves? Yeah. I doubt it. <laughs> Dad's been working out his legs, so they're no longer the size of my arms. <laughs> right, they're getting they're, uh, they're getting there. They're getting, they're getting larger. I've been thinking about this uh, literally last night, actually. Maybe I'm going to do a uh, spot and decon OnlyFans. Uh, I think uh, me and Fee been talking about doing the OnlyFans and uh, you know having our own separate little episodes and things we're going to do for it'll that. Be a, it'll be an extra fee if you want us together though. Yeah it just, to be, yeah, it just depends if you want a, a, a biohazard one, if you want us in Horde, you know if you want us to tie back, however you want, uh, we'll definitely give it to you wow. live and direct. Do you take requests? Do a live stream well, chat it thing. Depends. It just depends. I mean, money talks. It absolutely <laughs> does. It absolutely does. Wow. And so, if you want us to walk to walk, just let us know how you feel about our Spalding Decon OnlyFans. From the sex appeal of Spalding Decon. There himself. you go. I'm telling you. Make those whops. That's oh, it. God. That's it. <laughs> the whaps and the whops. <laughs> I think you know how OnlyFans work. Denny's. <laughs> Denny's episode of Waffle House dip episode. <laughs> what do you, what do you a think this house, is? A Waffle House uh, OnlyFans. You can do whatever you want. Okay. <laughs> I even do a Tetris OnlyFans. Okay. You know, I'll, I'll dress that up going. like in a Tetris block. You know, of, of whatever. We'll one, do like an LED fit in. costume yeah. of Tetris. Uh, yes. You're absolutely. gonna be the the three with the absolutely. one in the middle, absolutely. and then you're gonna fit in. And, and I am. <laughs> I am literally into a biohazard bin. Wow. You know, line up some biohazard bin, and I'll be another biohazard bin. You can sit me right in. I bet this people don't want you to sit right in though. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> you look dirty, raunchy little. <laughs> <us>. <laughs> you watch yourself. <laughs> How you feel? All right, we got goggles today. I'm out here, you know what I'm talking about? Then I got for you. Yeah, man. Making it happen. You have no idea how bad I want in that fridge. It's a beautiful day today. Good day to fish. I mean, great day to fish. I love fishing. It's my thing. Deep sea. Good. Big, wet, 
nasty shit. I mean, I'm drawing a little something out right now. It looks absolutely horrible. I like it. It looks horrible. No, it's good. Oh, boy. Just damn There's maggot carcasses. Yeah. 24 times. That's how you play Tetris. <laughs> uh oh. It's time. I ain't even wasting no time. The first time is the owner! Okay, there is a beast left. Yo, this is like not that bad. Like I'm kind of disappointed. Yeah. Oof. Hold it still. There's corn. What is that meatball? I'm not gonna lie. I am super disappointed. Like super disappointed. I got it. That could be gross. 2018. Ooh. Oh my god, it's terrible. Oh, 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 it's like uh, the eggsy kind of house piece. Yeah, except she was incubating pets in us. Oh, <laughs> that's crazy. Chicken? Chicken legs. Like a five? She really was sponsored by Domino's. A legit pizza addiction. I was so curious to know what was going to be in that black bag. <laughs> like as soon as we opened it. You know these are just are not bad because the fridge is on. No. I think this is like one of the first like two hoards where the fridge has kept been kept on. Yeah. You guys got the, the floor cleared in the kitchen and living room. That's a yeah, pretty big man, deal. You are locking me. No, I'm good. Um, yeah, it was. We've kicked was butt good. this morning. Yeah, we crushed it. It's just unbelievable how you can live like that. Like you walk on top of maggots, walk on top of roaches, mice. Shit. It just dog shit, dog piss. So like literally the living room, it was animal feces, and then newspaper. Animal feces, newspaper. Animal feces newspaper, like it was stacked, and she said she's been doing it for like nine years. It's yeah, and it's almost like it was like a piece of wood. Yeah, because there was that one piece that I that I managed to like peel back yesterday. It must have been about like six feet long by like four feet wide. Like when we asked, she said it was her way of committing suicide without committing suicide. Yeah, which is you you never have a common answer with any of these hoarders, mm -mm. and you they'll know, never give you the same it's answer. It's always really. something different. Yeah. It's always something to them, how they cope with. They want to joke about it. Uh, even though they're embarrassed and ashamed, they want to joke about it to, to us to make it seem like, ha, 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 you know. But at the end of the day, man, it's very, very filthy. It's very, very unfortunate. Uh, it sucks. You feel sad for any animals that's there. You feel sad for, you know, actual people, however they got like that. Because at the end of the day, man, you, you're able to wake up, see another beautiful day, breathe, whether that's healthy or not, you know, you're able to breathe and, you know, feel good and, and make this day into a better day. Thank you for joining Thad's podcast for the morning. Mm. God Check oh back my. in tomorrow. God. Motivational speech. I'll give it to you all day long. I'm a man for the people and the people for the man. There's pots and pans in the bathtub. Like literally, there's like a pot.
Like, what are you cooking? I ain't never seen so many cleaning supplies in one house and it ain't never worked. Like swamp ass. I smelled swamp ass before. Yeah. <laughs> it don't smell too goddamn good either. There's a well versed in swamp ass. Smelled some swamp ass back in uh, 15, 2015. <laughs> back in 2015, it smells still the same as 2021. Funky as fuck. Locks down. Letting it down. Whoa. Letting it flow. Amazing. A new person. <laughs> They're like, who's that new? <laughs> you think he's gonna the chain, dude. The girls are crazy, man. They're funny. I love them, though. <laughs> you are a degenerate. I am a low life scumbag. <laughs> Pokemon boys. Been here. I love them. It's just a trace. It's a trace. I love them. Don't we mind can, the comments. Yeah, we can we can blur this stuff out, right, Evan? Yeah. Yeah, yes. let me let me just get a close up real quick. Someone was happy to see me. <sighs> Where'd you leave off and what are you uh, wanting to get done tomorrow? My mama said these are my magic shoes. <laughs> said these shoes would take me anywhere I wanna go. You do that so well. Yeah, that's pretty you good. You do that really well. I you feel like I'm that? in the movie. These are my like, magic run, shoes. Forrest, run. <laughs> Don't you try to be a hero for it. You run now. Okay. Where are you going? <laughs> What'd you get done today? And what are you trying to get done tomorrow? So today we finished off the living room. And uh, we got the kitchen done in the hallway. And the main bathroom. So what we have left are the two bedrooms. And one more bathroom. Which we'll tackle tomorrow. We'll see you then. He shouldn't be hitting you, Jen A. <laughs> All right, so day three with Fee. Ah, uh, Fee and Thad. So we're here back in Bradenton today. Today, our goal is to tackle the two bedrooms. So a lot of the bedroom stuff she actually wants to keep. She says mm -hmm. it's her trash, it's her furniture, it's her belongings. So she's picked through what she wants us to remove, um, which is almost like obvious trash. The rest she wants to keep. Front bedroom, she wants it to become her junk room we did find out that there's an additional bathroom that we didn't know about i saw that too yeah so, but it doesn't look too bad yeah um from the looks of it she's she's been living here yeah. so you can tell just by yeah it's almost like the cleaner part of the house yeah. definitely is def definitely the opposite of what she said in the beginning so yeah we found newspapers and uh coupons are actually still valid nice. like for this year so like scattered out like mm -hmm. she went through a type deal. What's he got? Hamburger crackers. Man. You know what time it is. You like these. Oh yeah. They give life. you life. Life. Man, they just hit differently they when you're hit at work. They hit different. You feel me? I like peanut butter and crackers, peanut butter and uh, bananas. Yeah. You do peanut butter and apples? Yeah, I do peanut Fire. butter and carrots. Fire. Carrots and peanut butter? You ever done that? I feel like anything. No, I don't like butter. carrots like that. Oh, that's fair. I even walk around sometimes around the house after the shower and just put peanut butter in my mouth and just act like I could say full sentences. <laughs> Ooh. Can you smell that? <laughs> no goers here. <laughs> that's just straight Tetris like chomp right here. Incredible. Take a good little swig. There you go. Freshen up the vocal cords. She's out Sponsored. there. They really do need a sponsor. Maybe. Frost is fire. Frost, the purple one, like like the light purple one. Yeah. Oh, that one's crack. I'm a lemon lime guy. True. true That's and true. a crack. Through and true. The original. You the OG. Yeah. You had the one where you just scoop it, and make your own. No. With the can. No. I'm throwing it back with Tang. With it, you know, tang. I have that tang. tang. You know something about the Tang? Hmm. That Tang is fire. You ever had a Tang? Kool Aid. Yeah. What, what y'all have? What y'all have? Uh, in England. What? What? You from England? Yes. Like, like, that's how long you work together? No, no, no. I'm saying, I'm saying, like, what area are you from? Nottingham. Nottingham. Yeah. They said oh, Nottingham. Nottingham casual. Uh, <laughs> robbing of the hood. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Nottingham. Yeah. You feel good about letting that go? Do you feel good yeah. about starting a new chapter? 
I feel bad that I, you know, spent a lot of money. I probably didn't earn back as much money as mm -hmm. what I spent. But the experiences I had, mm -hmm. you can't take that away. That's right. You have those memories. And the other thing I, I keep telling myself is if I had a fire, I would have nothing. There you go. You'd be burned to ashes. So what? I have insurance money, but mm -hmm. it's still my quote-unquote treasures. Having gone through my mom's things in the past year, since she passed too, mm -hmm. nobody wants this, nobody wants that. It was special to her. Mm -hmm. But what was special to her doesn't necessarily have to be special to me and not feel guilty about it. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go through my junk. Yes, ma'am. And see if somebody wants to buy a cute collection for their kid of this. Christmas ornaments. When Hallmark first started selling Christmas ornaments, uh -huh. they were 3 and $4. Uh -huh. Now they're 25 and $30. There you go. That well, value is I'm going to put up another great big giant Christmas tree this yeah. coming year, and I'm going to put all the ornaments on it. See, and then I'm just see how you feel in right now? Like That's you, it. You're very blessed. I'm going, I just have to positive. make sure I don't climb the you wall too high. You just take those steps. No, climbing as high as no ceiling. There's no ceiling. There's no cap how great you can be every single day as long as you just wake up you see another day you're very blessed you're very fortunate you know those things your your, your life would be incredible it doesn't matter if you're poor if you're rich if you're white black whatever nationality yeah. you are you just remember those things and, and stay motivated and positive and you, you, no one can take that away from you that that's your own blessing that makes i keep just keep it's amazing. I was born in America, uh -huh. so I still have the opportunities that so many people don't have. Yes, ma'am. Absolutely. And I need to take advantage of it. That's right. Here I have this giant house. Mm -hmm. Some people are living in houses the size of And it's scary to be better people. because it's spot in decon. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a lot better. It's going to be a lot cleaner. It's going to be a lot nicer. You're going to feel good about it. And it's going to be a great choice that you decided to do. Yeah. For you. Not oh, for I'm, anyone else. No, it's I'm, for you. I'm, 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 I'm thrilled. I, I, I really am. Good. It, it was Providence that made me watch just the, because like I said, I just saw the very end of what y'all had done for Christmas. Yes, ma'am. Well, I'm glad that that could be, you know, inspiration for you to take that first step forward and knowing that, hey, I am on order and, hey, I want to get something done and mm -hmm. I don't want to live like this moving forward. Yeah. And, you know, you did the right thing. And so we're just mm -hmm. glad that we could help and, you know, definitely get this done for you put you in better spirits and uh, moving forward. Hopefully it can develop something in you that you didn't think that you had anymore. And, well, know, that's it. I'm, I'm hoping to find things to... Yeah. Do. It's in there. Time. It's in there. You just got to dig and get it. Her hair is spotted. Yeah. She's incredible. <laughs> She's unbelievable. I mean, very nice, very sweet. Lady. I haven't choked anybody throwing anything. No, out. she hasn't done anything. <laughs> she's, you know, she's joyful. Very, very nice, man. Awesome lady. Uh, she's going to do very, very, you know, positive and great things moving forward with her house. You know, once we finish up with everything, and it's just going to be, you know, such a blessing for her moving forward. And this is Thaddeus Diane. We are signing off. All right, guys, it's Fiona with Bald and Decon. Uh, we finished off day three with finishing out, taking all the trash out. So all the trash is out. So we're now on day four. So we will just be deep cleaning today and tomorrow. So I'll go ahead and show you around what we've done so far with how it looks with all the trash out. So this is one bedroom, the back bedroom. Cleaned out the bathroom. All of this is stuff that she has chosen to keep. Everything that's still in the house is what she wants to keep. So we're wrapping up day four with the one side of the house. You can see everything is cleaned. We did one side of the house. Looks brand new. Tub is scrubbed to the best. That is stained with rust in print. Doors are washed down. Front bedroom. Tomorrow we will tackle the living room and kitchen, which is all off this. But we're gonna call it a day. Alright, see you guys. Hey guys, we're back at it for day five. We're gonna be working on the living room and the kitchen. As you can see behind me. All that is stuff that she wants to keep. Day five, off the hoard, 
day two of the deep clean. Let's see how it goes. Alright guys, so we're wrapping up day five. Uh, we were only able to do the living room because of just how extensive uh, the floors were damaged. But I'll show you what we've done. So, as you can see, the living room is as clean as it gets. You can see the difference from the kitchen. That is that. We'll be back for one more day. That would be to finish off the kitchen. Can you recognize the place? Are you no. happy? Uh -huh. it, it reminds me of 10 years ago when I first started with it. Time to start again. Are you excited? Very much so. I'm really pleased. Awesome. Are you happy with how it turned out? Yes. Awesome. Yes. We're excited for you to have this fresh new start. Well, I'm excited for other people to have the opportunity to do this, that um, it's easy. It's easy to get through. You yeah. can do it. Do you have any words for someone that might have been struggling with hoarding? Or... Don't be embarrassed. Ask for help. Help is there. And you're not alone. You're definitely not alone. And don't worry about your neighbors. Worry about yourself. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and ring that bell to be notified of the next episode. For more information, visit any of our locations.